Hello, today is Monday, January 10th. It is 12.30 here in the East Coast, and the markets are under a lot of pressure today. The spiders are down 1.6%. <clears throat> and we've been talking about this dynamic for several days in our subscriber notes, that the fact is that we have a large negative gamma position, which forecasts lots of volatility for the major indices. And the VIX has been elevated, that is implied volatility has been elevated, but it's not really broken out. And so if we kind of look at the last five days, there was obviously a, a big drop last week. And we, we held basically the 4,700 strike uh, from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And our note on Friday, our subscriber note basically said, look, everything about this market screams volatility to us. Our gamma models say that implied volatility, uh, i.e. the VIX is elevated, but we're just not seeing that materialize in actual market realized volatility. That is, that is actual market movement. And so we've been forecasting, look, we're going to get a big move. Now that could have been a snap back rally, uh, a Vanna type rally where puts get sold. That generates deltas to buy, implied volatility drops, which generates more deltas for market makers to buy. And that pushes the market up. Or in this case, what we could see was people were buying longer dated options, but not yet getting involved on the short on, on the shorter dated options. And that kind of told us that we're not getting this backwardation. We're not getting a real sign of fear yet. And so we just weren't convinced that the sell-off is done. And we wanted to kind of touch on this idea is, is the sell-off over? Here you can see for the spiders, we're down around the 459 area. If we flip to the SPX, which is where we tend to write most of our uh, levels in spot gamma, you can see that we touched this 482 line, just above 4580. We bounced to 46.20. Now, 46.20 is exactly equal to 460 in spiders, and now we're kind of stuck in the middle. So if you look at our subscriber note from this morning, you can see we, we were looking for high levels of implied volatility, and we highlighted this 45.80 area as a big support line in the SPX because of a change in gamma. And we saw gamma changing at that level, and what that means basically is we thought dealers would have to act if the market drew down and quickly hit that line. So that appears so far to be the case as to you know what is going on in the market, we basically hit this level, kind of an exhaustion level or a place where in dealers or market makers will want to buy some hedges. They did so, and that created a bounce, and now we're threatening to kind of drift back down. We're just tied in this immediate area. So what is the major signal that we're watching? Well, I want to show you a chart we put on Twitter a couple days ago. This is on the 7th, but the chart really remains the same, uh, or remained the same, I should say, into last night. And basically what we're looking at here is we're looking at the implied volatility of the S&P 500, that is the spider options. And so what you can see here on the right side, these are days to expiration. So if a if you see a purple dot, that's a five days to expiration option. And this goes all the way up, all the way up to 30 days to expiration, which is yellow. And basically what we're showing here is the closing implied volatility for a 30 delta put that has anywhere between five and 30 days to expiration. Now, if you see the purple dots, are on the low side of the line. So obviously each one of these is a different day. So if the purple dots are on the bottom and the yellow or green color dots are on the top, that's telling us that the market has what's called contango. And that's a normal market, a market that's not too nervous about uh, the future. It's a calm market. You know, people will pay a little bit higher for longer dated implied volatility in those situations because obviously there's a little more uncertainty out in the future. So, okay, that's a normal market. Short dated, we're pretty sure what's going to happen in the market, so we're not going to play a very high level of implied volatility. That is, puts are relatively cheap and very short dated. And then again, out in time, things get a little more uncertain. So again, a normal market, I'll pay a bit more. So this is a what we call contango. Now, when the markets have a lot of fear in them, as I've highlighted here, we get backwardation. And what that means is that short dated spider puts, or any puts for that matter, will have a much higher implied volatility level than longer dated options. And that's because in the short term, people get really nervous, they demand protection, and they run into, again, shorter dated puts as a way to hedge themselves. So that's a fear signal. You could see that in late uh, November, early December, we had a lot of fear, right? You could see very quickly we flip from a contango market to a backward dated market, meaning people don't really care about short dated puts, then bam, all of a sudden they care and there's fear. This fear is generally a good sign that, you know, there's kind of a panic of sorts and can often be a signal that we have something of a low in the market. Now, we don't always have to flip from contango to backwardation. We can sort of flatten, have a flat term structure, and the market decides it has found a bottom. But what's interesting here in this case is that 
there's been a lot of selling of technology. People have been selling calls. We think there's a little bit of a rotation out of you know tech and into some of the less interest rate sensitive sectors. And we haven't gotten like a high correlation sell-off, meaning the VIX has elevated, but it too has not gone in backwardation. And you can see that there hasn't been demand for short dated options uh, up until today. So if you look, you know, even on the close of Friday, again, the yellow, the, the, the kind of 30 days out was still bid in terms of implied volatility over that short dated option. So there wasn't the fear yet. The market had dropped two, 3%, but there wasn't fear. In other two or 3% drops, we got in fear very quickly. Um, and then when the puts get a little bit too expensive, that means traders, some traders will come out and sell those short dated puts, which again can invoke the Vanna trade to put a bid in markets uh, as dealers uh, buy back hedges tied to puts being closed and that could cause a rally in markets. Now, what we wanted to show is this, the current term structure, which we see finally starting to shift. So if we now look at the system called convex value, uh, we can look at the term structure in the S&P 500. So remember before I showed you the idea of a contango market. So if you just look at an average day here, these are the spider at the money options. You can see that the near term stuff uh, has a very low implied volatility. And then as you get out in time, uh, the implied volatility gets higher. Well, what you could see happening today is this yellow line is that the really short data stuff is now starting to perk up. People are starting to get some more demand. They're a little more nervous about the short term. They're getting a little more crash protection in place now. And so the term structure is starting to flatten it out. Now, if there was real fear, we would get this whole section in here to shift higher. And then we get a real backwardated curve uh, that shows that, okay, the market is in a panic mode. And that can be a signal that there is an interim bottom. So what we are seeing here is the market digesting some of these lower prices, but we have not seen real fear yet. Uh, and so that suggests to us that there is reasons to expect that there is could be some more downside here. And we are not looking for that rally yet because, again, that fear is not. And we can't play off of that panic yet. If you want to know what we think going in the future, you can head over to SpotGamma.com. You can get a free trial of our Spot Gamma service, which sends out two daily notes a day. That gives you the latest on what we think about the market. And you get also dozens of different analytics. And that is a free trial for seven days. Now, if you have any questions on this, please leave them in the comment section below or hit us up at Spot Gamma on Twitter. Thanks.